It was vital to me that Tina burning in her prom dress was elegant and spectacular, gruesome and disturbing. We needed the fire to look real. Fire is organic, beautiful and colorful. And we needed a girl in a prom dress. She couldn't be in a padded suit. I faced two options. One was CG fire. I looked at it. It looked mathematical, not up to par. The other option was something called a black box, where you film fire and you superimpose it over the image that you want to be on fire. But we had a girl in a dress twirling, and we were never going to match the motion. It just wouldn't look good. Amazingly, as we were preparing to shoot, our stunt guy said they had figured out a way to use gel to cover a person's skin and allow a full body burn on bare skin. Our stunt woman wore a wig and bandages, and she was covered in this gel. She's lighting herself on fire, and then she spins and she stays on fire for 90 seconds. Miraculously, she doesn't get hurt. I'm impressed by this technique and the amazing dedication of my stunt team, and I wanted to share it with you. I think it gets at the horror, at the spectacle, and at the genre. I think it pushes the boundary, and those are firemen who are putting out that fire. It's pretty damn exciting.